hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-fashioned spooky time Halloween blood soap red state update monster mash and them. Coming at you live from a ghost cemetery in Murphy's Bureau, Tennessee. Scream. And here they are, the Boogeyman and the Old Bell Witch. <laughs> nah, it ain't. I was just trying to scare you. Hey, it's Jackie Bros. I'm Dunlap. <laughs> Spooky Halloween fun. That's what oh, we're doing. Yeah. We're getting right into it. I'm looking forward to it. See, I used to love Halloween. I did. Halloween is my favorite time of year. And when, well, you know, as years went on, youngins just got meaner and meaner. And now all they do on Halloween is just tear stuff up. I don't know that's exactly true. Well, I mean, that's pretty much what it was. Kids used to come just be dressed funny costumes, just sweet as can be. Funny little outfits. Uh, and you'd give them candy, you know, roll over, give whatever, uh, Butterfinger, whatever you got there, and make a child smile. And Halloween was a fun night. But now it's just kids uh, taking the eggs and uh, slashing the tires, uh, just uh, rolling the, the, you know, get the toilet paper all over a damn place. Uh, just that's all it is, smashing, the, taking your pumpkin and, and just throwing it. And, I mean, pitiful what it is now. So especially now, it's just a night for youngins to go wild and make a big mess as, uh, as I can, I reckon. Now, Halloween may be a holiday for Jackie to remember how much he hates children. Yeah. To well, him. I like, no, I like children. I, there's a difference between a, a, a child and a heathen. So if a kid is well behaved and never lets himself enjoy the moment, oh, you ain't got to tear stuff up. There's plenty of people that don't have to tear stuff up to have a good time. Plenty of people out there, and that's what we're trying to do on this here. This here podcast is a scary, spooky, Podcasts. old fashioned time Halloween. The good scares, fun. Well, we're gonna tell ghost stories. Oh yeah. And uh, like you used to, you sit around the fire, you know, fireplace or fire outside, depending on where you at. You have fire either way. And uh, sit around and tell Wherever ghost stories. Wherever you got a fire, well, you yeah, can sit yeah. around it and tell a ghost tell, story. Tell ghost stories. That's what we did. And I I got a ghost story. I can't wait to tell all of you. Oh, pal- we got ghost yeah. stories. We got songs. We got f- games. Yeah. We've got sponsors. Yeah, we got sponsors, yeah. And yeah. we're down here in the basement underneath Jackie's store where it's already pretty fucking creepy if hey, you ask me. watch your mouth. We're trying to have old-fashioned fun. You start cussing. Just, just. Sorry, all right. freaking, it's freaking scary down here. Well, we're down here it's all the like damn time. We're down here a little later than we used to be. It's used creepy to, down here. It's like would... Texas Chainsaw Massacre down here. Well. And I come down here every week for you good people, the listeners, to give you a little, spread a little cheer in your life. Well. But every time I'm down here, it, it looks like somebody's about to come out with an apron and a chainsaw. Oh, enough. It, I don't, it ain't no chainsaw. If a chainsaw down here... It, Probably don't run no more. There's all sorts of stuff in here. I got stuff, boxes of stuff in here. It's some kind of storage space underneath the store, bunkers, basement, whatever you yeah, want to call it. Yeah, he says it's his bunker like he's a prepper. Like, well, I'm telling you, when he all goes down, that's where I be. I got cans and stuff. I don't even know what's all down it, here. I've been putting stuff in here for so yeah, long. Yeah, he's just, just storage now. Yeah, it's yeah. just where he throws his junk. So, I mean, if it all goes down, he's going to be down here and get collapsed. Under, he's gonna get caught under a collapsed pile of newspapers like a damn hoarder. I got everything set hoarder up. prepper is what I he got is. everything set up here. Like I, I may not know what everything is, but I know like canned goods that sort of stuff goes in this corner here, and then there's just newspapers in case I won't read. I got them stacked up in the corner. Where'd yeah. all these bicycles come from? Well, he, they rusted. People, well, people don't want it. They're gonna throw it away. People put it in the dumpster back here. And I'm like, that bicycle's just as good as new. It's just because of rust, rusted missing a wheel, this or that. You know, because if I hold on to those bicycles, a wheel come in a couple weeks, somebody throw a wheel away, and I attach it to that one, and you got a bike again. This place looks like if there was a lake in downtown Detroit and oh, all the water evaporated, this oh, would be what's left. It, you call a, it a bunker. It looks like a bunker basement. Most people I know, I'm up there in the age. I lived a long time. I got a lot of stuff I've... I've 
got sure. together. Up this here. looks like a bunker if the only person you know is Oscar the Grouch. Oh, hell. He's just Oscar the Grouch's well, bunker. Well, don't come down here no more if you don't like it. Just go on up there. I'll sit down here and have a fun Halloween without you. Well, can, I can come down here and, and scare people and then go back. It's like when you take Meals on Wheels to the elderly. Huh? You can endure it for five minutes All or however right. long you let them talk to you. All right. Enough. I did that once on probation. That's good for you. No. All it made me realize was getting old is awful. Well. Because the food you eat is terrible and some asshole brings it to you. If that's the attitude you're going to have about getting old, then it probably will be terrible for you. Well, it will be. Well, there is a lot about it terrible. I'll say that right now. You one don't of have it, to tell me. One thing is all these youngins tearing stuff up on Halloween. want to have a fun Halloween. want to have a good one. And how our know, sponsor is going to provide to certain to certain people a particular kind of, of fun uh, on Halloween night. They were my sponsor last week. Come back again, and I explained to them it will. It's a third Pentecostal church in Holiness God's. Um, they're having a you know anti Halloween lock in, and they were our sponsor last week. And then they said, well, you know what? I guess that went so well for them. They gave me twenty five dollars more. I said do it again, and of course I explained to them. I said, well, you know, you anti Halloween. You're going to be advertising on something. It's, this particular thing we're doing now is going to be old-timey fashion Halloween. And I explained that to them. They said, ah, oh, it don't matter. So, yeah, they. if you don't like Halloween, I don't like Halloween, but not necessarily for religious reasons. Uh, for sanity reasons is what I call it. Just for grumpy old man reasons. Whatever. All right. I don't know. I, Pitiful. Everybody, I guess everybody likes this stuff tore up. I guess that's just something I'm supposed to learn to like. All you right, from the yeah. 50s. Just tear my house up. Repression. Well, well, it, it Hold nothing. it all inside. You ain't got nothing. If you had something and I went over and tore it up, you'd know what the hell I'm talking about. Sure, but you don't you're have 1%. A damn thing. I'm 99%. All right, whatever the hell it is. We tear up your pumpkin. Well, you don't tear up nothing. If you if you got any sense to you, you got any common decency, you don't tear up nothing. You can't tell me what I tear up and what I don't. I'll kick your shit out of your All right, on enough of your, your damn mouth. I ain't going to listen to this. It's old fashioned time of Halloween. Now, you can have it this way or you can have it at the sponsor who does not like Halloween in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's third the penny- devil. Well, they think Halloween's of the devil. That's what they think, and that's their belief. I don't personally believe that, but they're our sponsor, and I'll tell you what they're doing. If you think Halloween's of the devil, you can go down there. It's at, uh, well, you know, it's the third Pentecostal church of holding this God, but it's on the square. It's at stored, you know, have refurbished washing machines in it, you know. It's just a block building with a bunch of old washing machines. Well, yeah, but that's where they have a Drasty. service. That's where they have a service, I guess. You know, if you They're going to lock a bunch of kids in there overnight. Sounds like child abuse. Well, me. not all night. They're all night in there. First, before they get the lock in, they go they go trick-or-treat now. All the congregation, of course, when they go there, if you go to that church, you go to the door. Child says trick-or-treat. They said, you know, you're going straight to hell, youngin', and you ain't getting no candy. And they slam the door in the face. Four or five times of that, or however many is in that church, you know, could be all night. I don't know. Then you take them back down there and lock them in. That's the break them of trick or treating. And then from there, they do they do fun stuff. Say so you don't have trick or treat. Trick or treat ain't fun to them. And then they go, you know, they have those games. What is it, bobbing for the Holy Ghost? Right. You stick your head. In. There's no apples in the water. You just put your head in the water, and they pray over you. Yeah, if you spirit. get holy, whoever gets Holy Ghost while they're underwater, it's fun for everybody to get splashed. Speak in tongues, stuff like that, you know. They doing that, and I did a bunch of other activities. I can't remember all of them. Do they do snakes? I don't know if they do snakes. I, I, I don't think they do. I don't think that's they do. scary. I uh, yeah, well, yeah. You have a bunch of snakes locked in with you. It's scary. It's like well, yeah, factor. I think they're not trying to be scared. His point, you know. They don't. Well, they they don't scared. like it. They don't like things of the devil. They don't like that kind of mysticism, voodoo right. stuff, whatever the you call it. Snake is a natural thing. Snake is a natural thing, just like. Jesus, you know, coming through your spirit. And yeah, they don't like supernatural things like ghosts, goblins. Yeah. They like Jesus speaking in tongues, falling out in the spirit. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, it's good spirit, bad spirit, I guess, how they look at it. But a snake is, is in the woods. It's uh, Jesus. Well, it ain't the woods. You go out there and get them and bring them to church. They ain't out in the woods, are they? Even if they ain't snake handlers. I think for Halloween, since I ain't doing nothing else scary, you get a few snakes in there, do that do that thing where hoist them up over your head and dance around. I mean, that'd be fun for the kids. Yeah. 
If I don't know, don't be saying that they, they snake handlers because I don't know if they are or not. I don't think they are. I don't want to write their doctrine for them. I'm just saying it'd be fun for a night. They may be, I'm going to say they probably ain't because they're probably some deal on the square. You can't have no living snakes, you know, in around. If you got a business and it ain't a pet store or whatever. There's all sorts of rules, regulations trying to keep small business down like that. Well, yeah. Hey, you know what happened to freedom of religion? I don't know. If they're trying to, you know, you can't. You got if you a snake handling church, you out in a holler somewhere. If you make it that's to the you city, to go, you yeah. have abandoned the snakes. Yeah, you said snake, strict nine, that sort of thing. I don't think it's that. I say right now, that may be. I mean, they don't do the makeup or cut the hair or the, wear the pants and no. all that, but I don't think they got snakes in there. I'm saying for fun, they should do it. I mean, if you're going that far, why not take one more step and have a have a cool Halloween? Yeah, yeah. A, I'd go that lock in if they was. I could watch a bunch of people <laughs> walk around with snakes and yeah. get bit. That'd be funny. I guess that's just like any old horror house, something like, you know, old scare house, whatever you call it, haunted house. Oh, that's a good point, Jackie, which brings up my sponsor. Yeah. T T Slot. Oh, that ain't no sponsor. Jackie, I'm over doing an inspirational Oprah version of her what? story tt slot was a former small town prostitute here oh. in murfreesboro you'd find her s- spread eagle in a culvert or hey. out back by a dumpster behind a captain d's i know i don't and I, finally she decided you know what i ain't gonna do this anymore well good for her I there's that. more to me than my body i've also got a brain well she should use it then well, she did, Jackie, and that's when T.T. began her first entrepreneurial endeavor when she opened up T.T. Slot's daycare center. Oh, that... Not a lot of people wanted to drop their kids off with a former prostitute. Of course I didn't. Good Lord. She tried the mobile route by getting a van where you would put your kids in there and she'd drive them around all day. No. That didn't work either. Nope. And then, of course, Murfreesboro was introduced to slot juice. Oh. Where T.T. Slot became a juice maker. That don't make no sense to me. I don't... I don't understand why it's logical. Perfect. It's mainly the Slot Juice just had a great... She was trying to think, what product could I come up with where I can come up with a good name and then walk backwards and figure out the product? Uh. And she just thought Slot Juice had a oh, ring to it. Oh, that ain't no kind of name. Don't sound like nothing I'd want to drink. So Slot Juice, Slot Cider, uh, she, it's an empire, basically, uh, now. A small, struggling empire, but, you know, she's doing all right. She ain't... Whatever it is, as long as she ain't selling herself on the street, she can live a better life than that. And I wish the best for her. And you everybody think when I get mad on here, I'm running her down. I ain't. I just don't want to have no prostitute be a sponsor that I'm affiliated with. Well, now, Jackie, bless her heart, I want her to, to get, her, get her life... Straightened out. Now, I, I don't mean to run her down. But while you're out there in that behavior, I don't want to be affiliated with you, and I hope you understand. Well, Jackie, I think you're really going to like what she's doing now with all her new uh, uh, powers as a huh? small business leader here in Murfreesboro. Her sway, she's decided she wants to help other prostitutes get out of the life. Huh? Or, you know, maybe just sort of, do the life on weekends and have All something else. All right, enough. Whatever. She ain't preaching to him. She's just saying, if you want some help, take my hand. Well, if she's trying to get him out of that bit, good for her. I hope they listen to her. If she's trying to get him, I don't know about no juice this that, but if they ain't selling themselves like that and they, and they got more respect for themselves, and that's good, yeah. Well, she's got about 80 what? former or current Murfreesboro prostitutes rounded 80. up. It's a lot more than you think, Jack. What? That's just the tip of the iceberg. I... It's hundreds. All right. I don't want to about it. Bless her hearts. It's pitiful. But you know what time of year it is, Jackie. It's Halloween time. Well, yeah. Scary, that's scary. That's what we're doing here, yeah. So T.T. Slot said, where can I put all these prostitutes, pay a minimum wage? What? They have fun. People have fun. Everybody's having fun. What? That's why T.T. Slot... First annual T.T. Slot Horror House. It's located right off the square. She's rented an old house. All the prostitutes are in there. They're all dressed up and wearing makeup. 
Wait you a go minute. in there with all them prostitutes Wait. have a good Halloween fun time. Hang on a second. It, a bunch of prostitutes in a house, that's just a horror house. No, no. Horror house. Oh, hell. Horror's what I said. Horror house. You got what? That ain't no... What? Jackie, look, you go in. You know, you've been to these haunted hay rides. These, these I've been to mazes. those, yes, but I ain't gonna go into no horror house. Horror house. Oh, hell. You go in, and look, there's Carlotta, there's Julia, there's Samantha, there's Enid. I don't want me to. They're wearing no. funny makeup, and I, they're like, oh, I'm a, I'm a zombie prostitute, or I, whatever. A lot of them incorporated prostitute themes into their monster makeup. I know. Like you, I know what you're thinking. You get a bunch of prostitutes in the house, somebody's going to get a dick sucked. Hey, but it does it. not have to be that watch way. Watch your mouth. This is about second chances, Jackie. Scary, spooky second chances. All right. And if you go to T.T. Slot's horror house... Horror house. It, I guarantee you, you gonna get the pants scared right off you. Not in a sexual sense. I probably. I don't. Uh, no, we ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be affiliated with no prostitutes on here. And it, it, it was bad enough when you talking about just one, and now you talk about hundreds of prostitutes in a in a horror house. Horror house. Whatever it is. I ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't no sponsor on here. It's old-fashioned Halloween fun. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what we're going to do on here, and I, I'm ready to get to it if you are. Enough about all that mess. So that's T.T. Slot's Horror House oh, right off the square. That ain't no sponsor. So, Jackie, here's something important we need to tell everybody to do. To, what? To get to your old-fashioned, scary, scary Halloween podcast fun. Uh. Darkness. Yeah. Darkness. It's in what's we used to tell a scary story around a campfire. What's the important part of that? Not the fire, the darkness. You're in the darkness. Well, you're in the dark, yeah. You don't start fire in the daylight and tell a scary story. It'd be stupid. Well, yeah. You should be slapped. Like candles, something like that, yeah. Candles, darkness. What? So if you're listening to this right now, turn the lights off because we're going to scare you. And you got to do some work, too. Wait a minute. Wait, some people listen to this during the daytime. Turn the lights off. Oh, Andrew and Todd that listen and have coffee on Monday mornings. They listen to it during the daytime. Man. Well, turn the lights off ain't going to make no damn difference. Hey, y'all got to pull the curtains and draw the blinds or something. Uh, you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Hey, if you listen to this in the daytime, close your eyes or put on a blindfold or or uh, uh, put your head I see, yeah. under the bed. It's supposed to be scoop, spooky. Yeah, we're yeah scary. Scary, All right. scary. Wait a minute. Some people drive and listen to this in the car, they tell us. Hey. Headlights off. What? Turn your headlights off. All right. If you are driving, turn your headlights off. Just... Please. Don't listen gym. to it in the car. Wait till you get home. All right, I'm trying to work with you here on this. Don't tell people in the car turn the headlights off. I mean, if it's during the day, they can turn the headlights off. That don't make no sense. Well, no, then the other people, so the other people see them. What? But yeah, turn the headlights off. If you're at the gym, go find like a janitor's closet and hide in there ah. until this podcast is over. And just so you don't think, well, why don't do as we say, not as I say do. What? I'm going to turn the lights off here in the bunker. Hey. Hold on one second. Turn. turn all right. Enough. Come on. I ain't going to sit in the dark. Black. It is pitch black I down can't here. see nothing in here. We down underneath the deck. Turn the light on. Now let's just do the podcast down here in the dark like, I like ain't everybody gonna else sit is sit down here in the dark and do this. Now everybody else, if they want to. We're supposed to tell stories and do stuff for yeah, them. Yeah, we're going to do it do in the dark. I ain't going to do it in the dark. Turn the light on. I ain't going to turn there. the light on. You turn the light on. Oh, hell. I'm the... Hey. Jackie. Jackie. Hold up. Hold. Turn the light on. Jackie. Turn the damn light on. Are you okay? I don't know. Turn the light on so I can find out. Just stay where you are. Trump, turn, no. Jackie. You can reach a damn light from sitting where you're sitting. Now turn around, turn the light on. I can't reach it, so. Jackie, don't. Turn the damn light on. So I guess. I'm not going to. I can't see them. Should we just start with the spooky stories, or should we? 
What is that smell? What did you knock over? I don't know. I smell it too. It's something down here. A critter got in here, got dead. Something crawled up behind some. How many dead things you think are down I here with so, us? Uh, rodent or something got in here. I can smell it too. Something's dead. Jackie, you're just going to hurt yourself. Just lay on the floor I'll, or wherever you're at. I'll get up back in my chair. Are you in a corner? Are well, your I'm eyes will adjust? I'm in the same place I'm always in. I tried to walk across. Turn the light on. You are sit you in, right beside it. Are you in the Blair Witch corner? Oh, well. <laughs> see, my eyes are adjusting just fine. Can you see? I can't see a damn thing. I can't see my hand in front of my face. It's pitch black in here because we're in the damn turn a lot. Well, maybe if you cleared a path where human beings could walk and didn't leave it. I knocked. I can't see nothing. I don't know where the path is to clear the damn thing. Just turn a light on and we'll do this. I understand you have a Halloween poem you'd like to share with everybody. Oh, hell. I got a, it's a Halloween poem, my God. I'll tell that and you turn the damn lights on. Why is it that when old people get old, they start writing poems? What do you mean when the old people? I used to write them sometimes. I, I like to paint pictures, write poems. I ain't ashamed up. People say they like it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. See, that's like what old people do when I guess they just don't care what people think of them anymore. Oh, hell. They start sharing their art. Well, people like it. Like I said, the people the people paid money for my pictures and this, and I like to read a poem every now and then that I write. This here just ain't a poem. It's a... It's a tale. It's been passed down. You know, the names change and that sort of thing, but the, the family. But it passed down. It's an old legend. Scared me to death. And it's going to scare you. You're going to be, after I tell you this, I'll tell you right now, you'll be turning that damn light on. You'll be scared to hell. All right. I'm going to tell this story and then turn that light. I'll get you to turn the light on. I'll take that dare. All right. Now, listen up. Listen up now, foolish youngins, and hear my spooky story. It's just as scary as old Jason's, and not even near as gory. Now, my ghost yarn ain't got no blood. In fact, there ain't one single killing. But a spook story ain't gotta have all that mess to be good. And just as chilling. My tail ain't got no Freddy sneaking in your dream. But if you listen closely, I guarantee you'll scream. And my story ain't got no werewolf ripping out your throat. Now, this here's the terrifying legend of the haunted ghost. It all started one night in the barn when I thought I heard a sound. It sounded like a goat to me, but there weren't no goats around. You see, my sick pet goat named Bucky was laid to rest two weeks ago. So that goat I thought I heard, well, hell, that just can't be so. See, I buried Bucky six feet down out behind the horse's stall. So whatever's making that a noise shouldn't be making it at all. My hair on my neck stood on end and my complexion got awful pale. I wanted to holler and scream out for help, but I was too damn scared to yell. So I hope you learned your lesson. After hearing this here anecdote, and watch out this Halloween for the haunted ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, yeah. That's my spooky ghost story. Yeah, we have been telling that one for years now. That doesn't make any... Can you... Uh, I want to phrase this in a way that... 
you you don't mind a little constructive criticism. Oh, just run it down. That's what you want to do. I don't even know why I say nothing in front of you to begin with. I just have a few questions. That's for well, that's for people out there. I know that likes my haunted goat stories and legends. People like that. I know they do. So there's more than one haunted ghost legend. Well, on a goat legend? There's a few, yeah. That's the main one. It all stems off from that. You know how legends start like one way and end up something else down the road. But that right there goes back in my family for years and years, that story. Like I said, you changed the name of the goat that died because everybody in my family had at least, oh, 36 goats that died per family, if not more. I mean, that's just what... <laughs> so weird. How did you get 36? Did that, I mean... I know could be, be more than that. You know, seasonal thing. You eat goat this time of year. That's probably more than that. Like I said, you know, if you farm and you have goat, you have them as pets, you have them as meat, you have them all sorts of ways. You know. So, why... What was the lesson we were supposed to learn from that? Because at the end, you said there was a lesson. There is learn. a lesson. You don't know it. You know, you think you know everything and you... You get out that barn, you find out that I don't know as much as I thought I did. Yum. You don't know that the, the goat is dead? No, you ba- I sit there and said in the thing, you buried the goat out behind the horse's stall. You're not listening, the goat's dead. But then you hear that goat, though, you think it's dead and you don't know. See, like you just, I thought I had it made. I thought I, you know, had everything. So you're supposed to keep your mind open to possibilities on Halloween? What are you saying? It's a spooky ghost story. That's what it is. Come on, now. Lesson is, you know, don't think you're so full of yourself. That's not the lesson from that story at all. The, it, the story doesn't even make sense. I don't see how you get an other it legend. It makes plenty of sense. I, the goat died. I buried it. There shouldn't be no goat sound out there. But you heard a goat sound. Well, yeah. You think it was a phantom goat sound or something? Well, that... what else would it be if you know the goat's bad six feet under? You think you know how the world works and you feel safe in this world. You know, there's things out there you don't all completely understand. That's all I'm saying. Like leprechauns. Well. Jackie believes in leprechauns, I folks. don't say necessarily I believe it. That you putting words in my mouth. Out of all of those things, Bigfoot, all of them, uh, what, Loch Ness Monster, although somebody said they saw that, turned out they was lying. That's one reason these things keep going on. People lie and lie and just keep it in the news all the time. But Leprechaun could be real. Well, that's legends. That's gone from you. That goes back, my people, way, way back, way before I was born on a boat on Ireland, Ireland. You were born on a boat? I was. I said way back before I was born, my people. They come way back in the day. I wouldn't go so far to say I'm Irish, but that's where some, you know, half of what I am come from. And they pass those stories down. Something over in Ireland ain't right, you know. They know it. I'm just saying out of all of them, that one would be the one, if I had to put a dollar on which monster was true, it'd be old leprechaun. So Leprechaun, that's why you, you, so your scariest movie, scariest movie you ever seen is Leprechaun in the Hood. Well, movies don't scare me, that ain't it. I ain't saying that movies get under my skin, they bother me, things like that. They ain't been too, I was, people try to show me scary movies all my life. When I, maybe when I was a youngin, when I was real little, I was scared of something like that, but I ain't been scared of movies as long as I remember, because I was scared of things in real life, not in a damn movie. But when I saw that one, that one got there. But two movies that ever got under my skin and bothered me. I wouldn't say, like, scared me. I mean, I went to bed that night. But, you know, you you think on it for a while. It stays in your mind for a while. And one of them's Leprechaun in the Hood. And the other one's old children of a, or from a corn, whatever it is, children corn. Those two, they, they bother me. Wait, right what there. children of the corn? Well, I mean, why, anybody, if you have a garden... Are you growing crops, anything like that? You got a bunch of crazy uh, children tearing it up, tearing your garden up, everything else. That gets that bothered me. I don't like it. Wait a minute. So the thing that bothers you about children of the corn is there may be children in your garden messing up. Well, tearing stuff up, but that tearing all that stuff up. There's another movie. It ain't a horror movie, but it's kind of like that same thing as uh, remember I Failed the Dreams. 
So you don't like that either. Cause I that, didn't like that one either. But everybody, it ain't a horror movie, but everybody, you when that come out, everybody said, oh, Jackie, you like baseball? I said, yeah, I like Walter Brady's play. What, oh, you're going to love that field of dream. Didn't make no damn sense. Bored me to death. And then you got to watch the baseball ghost tear up a cornfield. Rip it up. Well, he tears up. He digs up part of his own. Well, he part. tried to help. He 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 says, all right, if you're going to be in the cornfield, I'm going to give you this section right here. And you play ball on it. And he made them, yeah, he made that baseball diamond so they could all play. But then you got, they still coming in through the corn. Why? Well, it, it does seem like they could just appear in the baseball diamond. They don't have if to they ghost, I don't them. understand why you got to go through the corn. He made them a damn baseball field. Just come up there. Don't don't be trampling through the man's. It is Crops, true. I mean, you know, it's pitiful. I don't like, just the idea of children out of the corn or a baseball ghost. In my garden, tearing up my mate's of radish, that, that gets under my skin. That is, I guess, the message of Feel the Dreams, which I always thought was about, like, fathers and sons or second chances. It's just Man, it's got corn. that, too. It's got that. It's got that it's in just, it. It's just, I hate just corn. It's me to tears. That stuff, I just, that's for, yeah. Corn is stupid. What do you mean, corn stupid? That's the message from Feel the Dreams. Fuck corn. Hey, watch your mouth. I ain't going to hear that language. But, but people watch scary movie Halloween all year. You know, if that's what you watch, that's fine. But Judd Corn, uh, Leprechaun in the Hood, and there's more Leprechaun movies I ain't ever seen. That's the only one I ever seen is Leprechaun in the Hood. And that was enough. I didn't need to see no more. Something about the Leprechaun, just something about that just gets under your skin, gets you thinking. You know, So the worst your... movie you can imagine would be Field of Dreams if it starred kid leprechauns instead of washed up baseball dead I players. wouldn't want to sit through that, no, sir. That, that, that may give me a nightmare, too. Just tramping along corn. I don't want to think about it. Out in the maters. Maters corn. It don't matter on. what it is. Children of the maters, children of the radish, it, it, whatever they out there tearing up. Corn bad enough, but I mean, if they, you know... I guess that name's got a nice ring to it, whatever, but I, it bothered me. I don't get under my skin. Ah. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Sorry, I crossed my legs. Well, Jackie. I, well, you got the lights off. I won't play Halloween games. Yeah, we need to talk about some fun, old fashioned Halloween games. Watch what that you're doing. It's, all, can... it's already a mess in here. Don't make it work. I ain't I probably have made it more orderly. Oh, hell. So. Just turn the light on and I'll clean the damn thing up. How about you shut all up about right. the light for Halloween? You're the worst. Like, well, we'll just have Halloween since we get these pumpkins off everybody's all porch. All right, all right. It's Halloween. It's supposed to be dark, idiot. All right. You leave it. You help me clean this up when we get done. I can't. I sit here. Can't move my damn. I gotta go. I got a party. Oh hell! I got a costume party. I'm going to costume contest. I'm gonna be Hulk. Whatever. I'm gonna take my shirt off and bring in some uh, green makeup and get all the girls just rub all over me. Put that green makeup. All right. On I don't want to hear about that on here. That's you my go costume. Do that. You go do that after we do old fashioned Halloween. That's what we're down here doing. We do. And I'm trying to get people. We're going to do old-fashioned Halloween. I'm helping you out, Jackie. But then Everybody we'll listening. Have a sexy Halloween. Ow. I'm a Hulk that needs some help. You on need... here talk about whorehouses and sexy Hulk. I, that ain't no Halloween. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's her turned into today. That's your Halloween. Sexy Hulk in a whorehouse. Horror that, house. Whatever it is. I don't want nothing to do with that. We're having old-fashioned Halloween time on here. And I won't try to just let me play my games with people. My Halloween games out there. People Are you who, about like Field of Dreams, some old person coming out wearing it like a ridiculous out of fashion uniform oh, with hell. their old ideas about how things are, knocking on your door like, hey, listen to this. Back in my day, people didn't egg cars. Like, get back in the corn, you idiot. I, look, we agreed we was going to have an old time fashion Halloween on here. You go. Did I tell you you you're, can't go to your your sexy Hulk, Hulk sexy party? whatever no. the hell right. it is? Okay, you're right. You're you right. go do that when we get done here. You're right, Jackie. I need a better attitude. So let's just get your part well, over with. Well, it's about with. time to nice to hear you say that every now and then. You start running your damn mouth and think for two minutes. You might realize 
All right, let's hear your old-fashioned Halloween right. game so I can get women to rub on my nipples. Hey, enough. With makeup. Enough. All right. Because Hulk can't hey. have, you got to have a green nipple if you're a Hulk. All right, enough. Quit look, that. You look like an idiot. Look, I'm going to get on here and tell him how to play this game. You keep the mouth shut. You go do that afterwards. All right, this old spooky Halloween game used to play all the time. Mom and Dad used to do it at the uh, kids' table. You'd either turn out the lights or close your eyes, you, or sometimes you use a blindfold. But first, don't put your blindfold on yet. Don't do it yet. What you're going to need is a bowl, and you need to go into the refrigerator and get you some grapes, put you some water on them grapes, and then put it in that bowl right there, all right? Now get you, get you another bowl. And get you some oatmeal, cold oatmeal, and put that in the bowl and set that beside the bowl, bowl with the grapes in it. <clears throat> then you get in there and get you some weenies, hot dog weenies, and cut them up. And you get another bowl, put that in there. So you got your wet grapes, you got your oatmeal, and you got your weenies. And also, you need to get another bowl. And once you get that bowl, Put in some cold spaghetti, like filled up with cold spaghetti and set that bowl. So you got them lined up there. Now, first, let's go backwards. Put your fingers in that cold spaghetti. You see? That's worms. No, wait, wait, wait. Go. I, I forgot to tell you, put your, put your uh, blindfold on now or turn out the lights. Now, stick your fingers in that spaghetti there. Yeah. See? That's worms in there. Why? But you just, wouldn't you need? Hang on now. I'm moving on to the, we're moving to the next one. Now put your, put your hand in the next bowl, the one with the weenies in it. You got your hand in the weenies? Yeah. All right, those are fingertips. Monster cut off. It All fingertips in there. What? You're just telling people. Now, let me finish this. Now put your hand in the oatmeal, cold oatmeal. Got it in there? That's brains right there. <laughs> yes, Gary. Put your hand in the brain. This isn't the way that... Now, the first bowl that you put all the grapes, the, the wet grapes in, put your hand in that one now. Get in there. Get your hands in them grapes. That's eyeballs right there, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it was just spooky fun games to play. We played it with, in my family. We did that. Going you did the it wrong. That's not how you do it. Why do you mean we did it wrong? You don't tell somebody, put, hey, help me fill up this bowl with cold spaghetti. Now put your hand in that cold spaghetti. That's worms. That's how we did it. We did it just fine. We always had fun doing it that way. There's no element of surprise. You're supposed to go get it's a kid. Fun getting it ready. Get I'm going to get the worms, Mama. I get the worms out. I get all the spaghetti in there. We know what it is. It's what's part of the fun. Is everybody picking. The, I do the brains this year. No, you go out, you get a, a child off the street, and you bring them in your house, and you, you put their hand You don't bring no bowl. child off your street in the house, period. Don't matter. No, we did it as For a For Halloween when you got the brain bowls. You don't get no kids off the street. That ain't all no right, Halloween. All right, well, maybe it's, it's not kids off the street, but maybe it's like a kid that's over for a party. If they're in your family or friends of your sure. church or this or that, yeah, get, let, get them in the kitchen. And they go hide, and you get the brains ready, and then they put their hands in the brain bowl. Well, that ain't how we and did you it. say, this is brains. That isn't how we did it. We did it that way. Well, we you did it the wrong way. We had that. Well, that was old-fashioned Halloween that we had. We always had a good time, so plus you don't like it. Plus, you put the grapes in mayonnaise. Put mayonnaise on the grapes, and then you put your hand in there because then, then it feels more like eyeballs. Ain't nobody going to stick a hand in mayonnaise. They if don't you tell know them, what if, they're sticking it in. It's if you tell them, put mayonnaise over them grapes and then put your hand in it, they ain't going to do it. If they you say wet grape, that. if you have wet grapes, that's fine. You put your fingers in that, nobody that's minds doing that. That's Sure, what? I can see that. Yeah. Like, like you're getting a manicure. It still feel like eyeballs the same way. What's, what's mayonnaise for? They can smell it. That That's a flaw. Well, 
But your your whole scenario is flawed. Well, the only see, flaw in mine is I the don't see it is. I hope all y'all out there that played along had a good time. Uh, keep your blindfold on or lights off, I reckon, for the for the rest of it, because it's just going to get scary from here. We had, oh. We're just getting started. We heard a scary story, played a scary game. We're going to keep going, having a good scary time, old-fashioned Halloween time. Old-fashioned yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Quit. Hold on, I dropped my microphone. So I guess it's time for our scary songs. I got a scary, scary song, Jackie. I think that's going to chill the hearts of our listeners. I'll play it if you sit still and not move until we're done or turn on the damn light. It's a mess in here already. All right. My song, Jackie, is... uh. It's pretty good. I think you're going to like it. All I'm right. curious to hear your thoughts on it when it's over. Well, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I ain't heard it. So let me just get my iPod out. Hey! Get is this your I'm iPod or is this my iPod? Here, just jack us in. I was walking home from my dealer's house late one Halloween night. I scored some pot and a little bit of blow, so you know I was feeling all right. I took a shortcut through the graveyard. Yeah, I guess that was kindly dumb. Cause a skeleton jumped up out of the grave and said, boy, you gonna make me come. I fingered a skeleton. I was trying not to hurt her Cause her bony groin was so brittle and dry I knew she wasn't no squirter Me and Skeleton are married now It it ain't recognized in every state It's a hassle when we get our taxes done But the uh, fingering is still great I fingered a Skeleton Jackie, and I, I think that song goes back to what you were saying earlier about the legends and the the mythology of Halloween and how a story can can what be birthed in you? one culture and then grow. What into is a, wrong with you? What you t- I said old fashioned Halloween fun time. I just want to have a remember Halloween one more time, like old and fun, and you. Jack- what is wrong with you? Jackie, a skeleton is like the most old-fashioned monster. I'm getting out. Like I'm maybe a witch. Jackie, out. don't. <laughs> Jackie, listen, listen. Jackie, hold on one second. Just stay still. Stay calm. We haven't even played your song yet. I don't want to play it. You already ruined. You ruined Halloween. I ain't even 
toilet papered your yard yet. I have not egged a single one of your windows. I have not cut your uh, phone cord yet, your phone line, so that you can't call the police for help. Just turn on the light. I'm through. What about your song? <laughs> hey, you know what? Before before we go, I want to tell everybody to rate and review us. You know, let people know if you enjoy this podcast, you're probably going to want to let other people know that we're doing some of the probably the most cutting edge work in the pot. Jackie? Jackie, don't leave me down here. Jackie? We were sitting in church, singing and praising, but something happened that was really hair raising. Then Dracula walked right through the door. It'd been bad if just Drac come, but it wasn't just him, it was a whole bunch of them. Frankenstein, the Wolfman, and many more. We hit the deck to play and cower when Wolfman said, I feel the power of Jesus in my heart. Ar, 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 then the mummy showed up to give us a start, but when he sang, How Great Thou Art, we realized that these monsters love Jesus too. Dracula turned into a bat and said, Jesus died for my sins. We baptized a creature from the Black Lagoon and he wanted to get dunked again. We were scared of them at first, but they were well behaved. The day all the monsters came to church and got saved. up three whole pews and Frankenstein was a little confused but the Lord judges souls he don't judge smarts invisible man rededicated his life Chucky joined the church and so did his wife and Freddy Krueger and Jason accepted Jesus in their hearts they took the Lord's Supper and it all went fine till Dracula said I don't drink wine and I told him we're Baptists so neither do we it's usually great juice, Kroger private selection, but the song leader's got a slight kidney infection, so we drank cran grape and sang a closer walk with me. Michael Myers said, through Jesus, we are all reborn. Leather face, pinhead, Norman Bates, a cucho and children of the corn. Heaven will be a little scarier when the monsters are dead in their graves. The day all the monsters came to church and got saved. Church came to church and got saved. Kick the Chimp Records presents an album 13 years in the making. It's the return of Holtz Claw with their new album, Chili Room, Chili Room, Pussy Room, Pussy Room, 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 featuring Dragon Glasses, Chili and Pussy, Rock and Roll Devastation, Strollers, Stay and Watch Willow. 11 makes 10. 11 makes 10. Sticks heaven. Totally upside down boat. Totally upside down boat. And the Red State Update theme song, 
tasty sorghum biscuit. So get your copy today. Available on iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, Google Play, Rhapsody, blah, blah, blah. Holtzclaw, Chili Room, Room, Pussy Room. Room. Enter at your own risk.